Meunai Kanjitundu, a grade 3 pupil at the Marti Artisani Primary School in Banaheda, but the 9-year-old finds it difficult to live a normal life like any child her age due to her weight. She loves school, but getting there is a challenge for her. Living with an unemployed mother, they rarely get by as they find it difficult to afford the special food and medication she needs. Her name is Meunai Kanjitundu. She's 9 years old, but her weight is now 108.3. So it's very difficult during the day, especially to go to school. We are struggling. You see, we are staying in Korea Hub, informal settlement. But it's very difficult because even if you find a, a transport for her, they will just take even her for a week. Then after they will say, ah, ah, it's too much, I cannot go because she was schooling in the afternoon. But luckily there were extra classes at school that was built in. So now she's going in the morning, but it's really difficult. It's a big challenge to me, really. For her condition, it's only that she's obesity. The weight is, is over, or, or is over than her age. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the doctor, they, had, they were supposed even to, to, to send us to Cape Town for the intrologist doctors, but because of the economic, there's no money. Yes, we did give in our tr our passport, but we are still waiting. Maybe God will make a way one day. But really for her, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Some kids are helping me at the stairs, and some of them are just, are just pushing me and making me naughty. And uh, some of them are just like, saying you okay, must help the other one now you are pushing her. And now they are just like, no, we are not. We doesn't want to help her. She's so fat, and uh, she's so like big. We can't pick up. We can't pick her up. And my um, our classes, at least our classes now are not down there. The stairs are up now. If you just come in the gate, then you just go somewhere there. Then you are at the classes. It's so hard, um, and it's so like a lot of distance to walk from, from the house to come outside here. Mayunaya's grade 3 teacher describes her as a very intelligent and smart girl, but emphasized that the need for her to get assistance as her condition is becoming worse by the day. She is very smart. She can read, she can count. Uh, the d difficulties that she's finding is just the physical. She cannot work that fast, but mentally, cognitively, she's fine. She's a very smart girl. She loves school. I remember that there are times that she cannot come to school and then she will call, ask the mom to speak to me, and then she will cry and say, teacher, but I want to come to school, and then she will have some issues with her knee paining because her body is too heavy to carry the load. Mm -hmm. Do you? She was supposed to get this funding from anyone and everywhere because um, besides the South Africa trip that she needs to undergo, her daily uh, uh, life is such a challenge because she needs to eat healthy food for, for her body to go down. Um, her mom is not employed. She needs to, to, to come to school every day. There was some time that she didn't come to school because the mom cannot afford to pay the taxi. And some of the taxi drivers that come here are so impatient. I had to talk to them to, for them to wait for her. They're like always rushing her. So I'll, my plea to the public is to really try to see where they can help. Um, it's not only her problem, it's all of us problem. Whatever the mother is going through in the community that we're living in, we need to be there for each other. Our school is following the policy of inclusive of education because we have a lot of we have a lot of challenged children or we, some of them they are still here some are already out but we have been working with them for many years and inclusive education is a education which is include all the children either they are physical or non physical challenge either mentally or physical itself normal so all the kids are welcome to be here so it's only the duty of the teachers and the education sectors to look after those children, to make sure that they get the basic need when it comes to education, because our Namibian education is focused on education for all. Meunai needs an operation that can only be done in South Africa. Therefore, her family and teachers are pleading for the public's assistance to get her to South Africa to undergo the operation and allow the nine-year-old to be able to play and be a normal child again. The family can be contacted at 081-734-3429.